many centuries ago. An evil wizard lived in a country far away. The wizard was very powerful, and his only wish was to conquer the world. His name was Karan, and for years he ruled the country from his castle near the small village of Fungoria. Fools! Is there no one else in this country with intelligence? An entire world could be mine to command, and still these peasants choose to disobey me. Who will you send to peace me this time? <laughs> Marvin's not too old. Marvin? He's barely a man. What good can he do against Khan? The wizard is too powerful. He'd never stand a chance. We've already lost our best men. The boy is a fool. We'll have to let him try. He doesn't stand a chance. Miracle. Look! He did it! The wizard's body was buried in a place that has been long forgotten. The mushroom was placed on the square in Fungoria. And every year a festival would be held, so the citizens would never forget how the world was saved. During each festival, a new citizen would be elected to keep the mushroom safe for another year. And so it has been, year after year, without fail until today. I wonder if Gilbert is awake. Dear Gilbert, I've gone to take care of the mushroom. There are fresh biscuits on the table for breakfast, love, Grandpa. Hmm. Hi, Grandpa. What is he doing? Look out! Oh no! This is terrible! I've got to get down there. Let's see, dental floss, toothbrush, 
Hair grease? I can take on a whole army with this stuff. When I meet up with the crook who took that mushroom, I'm gonna let him have it. Then I'll have a nap while I wait for the authorities to arrive. There is no monster under the bed. The only things under there are dust bunnies. Here, little dust bunny. Don't be afraid. Gotcha! <laughs> You're a cute little fella, aren't you? If you need anything, just... Um... Well, make dust bunny noises, I guess. Hop up and down or something. Without any wind, the elevator doesn't work. I can't turn it with my bare hands. I need a crank. I don't think I should use that without the proper training. Picking a tree booger, isn't it? I wonder if they'd let me have some beeswax and honey. I guess not. Maybe I can make some kind of glue out of this. I can't turn it with my bare hands. I need a crank. Hey, it fits. <sighs> this could take a while. Whew. <sighs> I don't remember this mountain being so tall. Oh. How am I going to fix this? I can't use that by itself. It looks even stickier in the bowl. Now it's even stickier! That probably wouldn't taste very good. Now it's even stickier! 
I'd really rather not. I wonder how much of this Grandpa uses. Maybe a little bit more. Hmm. I think I'll throw the whole bag in. Now it's even stickier! It feels nice and soft. I think it's purring. I don't think that would accomplish anything. I don't think that would accomplish anything. I better fix the crank before this stuff hardens too much. I don't think so. I don't think so. That ought to do it. I wonder how long it'll take to dry. Wow, it's as strong as it was before. Did that glue ever dry fast? Now I can finally get down from here. Going down? Whoa. Gilbert, I need to talk to you. Should I make you another pair without the strap then, your highness? Perhaps with the strap in dark blue instead. Your grandfather's in terrible danger. Danger? What? Can you have them ready by tomorrow, Saul? I'll have a new pair ready by tomorrow morning. Oh, there's no hurry, Saul. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll be fine. And thank you. The sheriff is planning to have your grandfather executed. Executed? But it wasn't his fault! My father fears the theft could cause a revolution. There have been, well, some people have seen this as an opportunity to bolster their visibility in the king's court. There have been complaints, and more than a few, I'm afraid. But executed? Your grandfather swore an oath to protect the mushroom with his life. The people in the court, Gilbert, they demanded that your grandfather pay with his life. And you let your father agree to this? He didn't want to. But they accused him of causing the theft, saying it was his fault for trusting the mushroom to a foolish old man. Those were their words, Gilbert. You know I don't think of your grandfather that way. They even tried to blame the sheriff for being away when it happened. But it was my father who sent him to the forest looking for poachers. They said someone had to pay, and it was either your grandfather or my father, the king. So who did you vote for? It wasn't an election, Gilbert. Of course I argued against it. But no one was willing to listen, least of all my father. He may be a kind man, but he's not a very brave king. When the sheriff agreed your grandfather should be executed, my father went pale and said nothing. Now he's locked himself in his chambers and refuses to see anyone. Can't somebody break down the king's door? And then what? 
ask my father to become a braver man. If he could be any braver, he wouldn't be hiding in his chambers right now. But who's going to stop the execution? You are. With my help, of course. How? You're going to dress up like the king and show up this evening to stop the execution. I am? Here, take this. It has a picture of my father on it. What is it? It's the silly collector's card my father gave me. There's a set of cards out there called the Great Kings of History. And my father was disappointed he didn't qualify, since it only covers kings from the past. So we had a new series of cards made just for him. He has boxes of them lying around, and he hands them out at parties. It's embarrassing. The Great Kings of our history to be. Hmm. I don't look anything like the king. Well, I guess you'll need a bigger nose, and some sort of robe or cloak. You'll need to gain some weight, too. Or at least look bigger. Hmm. And you'll definitely need a crown. Uh, okay. What are you gonna do? I'm going to make sure my father stays in his room this evening. And plan how I'm going to break the news to him when he does come out. So he doesn't make a scene that could tip off the sheriff or the people in the court. Okay. Uh, what is it you said I need again? A bigger nose, a robe, a crown, and something to make you look bigger. Then you'll look just like the king. Uh, I gotta go. Why are you so sad? My dad g gave me some money. Are you upset he's trying to substitute material goods for parental love? <laughs> what? Are you mad at your dad for paying money to keep you out of his hair? No. Are you reluctant to face the real world pressures forced on you by financial responsibility? Um, I, uh, well, um... Well, what's your problem then? <laughs> <laughs> he, he said I could spend it on anything I wanted. You don't want the money? I don't have it anymore. Someone stole it from you? No. I spent it on that stupid toy machine and it took all my money. And all I got was this stupid, ugly, fake nose. So you don't have any money left? No. My dad said I could spend it on anything I wanted. doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> he gave me just enough money to spend and, and I wanted to get something good with it. What did you want to get? A double elastic, wide angle fork, ultra accurate, super deluxe slingshot. Cool. But all I got was this crummy fake nose. You sure you don't have any money left? It's all gone. Is there anything I can do? Do you have a super deluxe slingshot? No. Do you have enough money to buy everything in that toy machine? No. Is your hand small enough to reach up in the toy machine slot and pull the super deluxe slingshot out? Probably not. Then there's nothing you can do. Okay, well, I have to go. Bye, mister. I can't break it open with my bare hands. I don't think I could convince it to give me anything.
don't need a poster with a half-naked man on it. <laughs>